Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at the Vivum series. So this is a collection of uh, nine instruments, all contact full. Um, these are ambient, cinematic kind of style. And we're going to dive in and have a look at how they, well, the actual interface works. It's pretty much the same for every single one, which is really handy. It's got this unique honeycomb kind of layering system, which we're going to have a little look at. Um, and it's uh, honestly endless combinations you can make with these. Um, each, each one is just wonderful. Um, we'll have a listen to a few of them um, in the video. So if you're interested in deals like this, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the notification bell. Let's dive right in. So this is Vivum 1. Um, I have loaded this one up to start with. As you can see, it's got a pretty stunning interface. Um, quite a lot of different features we can have a look at. Um, I'll go over a few of them to kind of get the idea. So first off, we can see that we have the honeycomb section here and each of these individually is a layer you can add on. So you can see here, we've got three out of 50 layers. Now, <laughs> before you go mental, uh, don't recommend using all 50 for it perhaps draining your CPU, but also just the, the sound might be a little bit too much, um, but you can certainly play around with the number of layers just by simply dragging this here. Um, so now we have 12 different ones and I believe it's random um, depending how many you pick, uh, so you can see there. Um, so all these layers look a bit different as you can see. Um, so at the moment we've got... atmospheric um, with 20 layers on which might be a little overkill um, again if you want to randomize uh, with these 20 layers you can actually click that random button here with the little dice and it will give you 20 oh no, sorry I'll actually even randomize the layers um, as you can see here because I had it on 20 now it's 12 so if I do it again now it gives me 13 uh, so it's different it's really great so right now this one would sound like this So it's a really great feature to just kind of, if you're just in the mood to see what you can, what you can get out of it. Um, and also we have a number of presets here we'll have a little listen to in a second. Um, in fact, let's just load one up just now. So... So, just to clarify before we go any further. This is a, in the general settings, this is a category filter, so we can kind of like light up which ones are specifically like leads or bases. So we can see the ones here that are lit up. Um, slow attack, if you just want to see which ones those are. When we're building our own, we can build your own layers obviously here. So um, if you wanted to sort of start with a slow attack one. Uh, a fast attack, so we can see which ones light up there. Rhythmic ones, um, different hertz of ones. Um, so we've got quite a lot to, sort of going on here. Um, this is quite good here. So we can see if I click on this, it comes up with the name of it. Um, and also we can adjust the settings like the attack, um, release, etc. here. And this little number here, this little box, if we tick this, it will apply it to all the different layers that we have highlighted. If you don't want that and you want to individually edit this layer, you untick this before you make your adjustments. Um, you can also solve the sound so you can hear what it sounds like on its own as well. Because sometimes it can get a bit cluttered and it saves you unticking them all. Um, so that's pretty good. You have your arpeggiator over here in case you, you want to make it even more mental. <laughs> Um, and obviously we have sound alterations in here with sort of reverb, delay, modulation. You can change that to be like a step filter if you wanted to. So we solo that for a minute and activate that. So 
So we can muck around with that. So all kinds of stuff here. Um, I don't want to go over every single thing because I don't want to overload you guys with too much information. I kind of want to let you hear what it sounds like more than anything. Because, I mean, that's what we care about. We want to know what it sounds like. Also how effective it is to be used as well. Um, but this is a very, very simple sort of uh, layout, which is great for just getting on with the creativity aspect, I find anyway. So it's, I mean, I'm a massive fan of like pads and atmospherics sort of music and sort of creating stuff like that. So I absolutely love all of these. Um, so I'm going to choose a couple of my favourites um, to kind of show you. We also have kind of the portmanteau up here. We have a few other adjustments that like you can change the scale. So these adjustments over here um, will affect how the samples are played. So if they're in stack mode, um, they will all play at once. If they're in random mode, they will, as you can imagine, randomly play. And it gives more variety to your track. So the map mode will kind of spread out the layers, depending how many layers you have, or full. It will just try and sort of combine them all, um, as you can see. So there's quite a lot of sort of technical stuff you can do with this, or you can keep it very simple, randomize it, whatever you want to do. Um, so these like layouts are pretty much consistent with each one. So I'll just continue on and show you some of the different sounds that a few of them can make. Um, some of my favourite ones. So let's dive right into that.
So that's been the Vivum series. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to it and seeing it as much as I did. Um, thank you very much for watching and we will catch you next time.